brothers and sisters, welcome to the devotional today. I'm going to share today uh, two verses from the New Testament, very, very interesting. Some of them are very um, comfortable for you and you have heard about a lot. And they are in the letter of uh, Romans, chapter 12, in verse 2. And it says the word of God. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and pleasing and perfect will. I want you to uh, go in the word renewing, and also in the word transform, two very important words that we're going to talk about this morning. The second one is in the letter of Paul to the Corinthians in the second letter that he wrote, chapter 7, verse 1. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit perfecting holiness, holiness out of reverence for God. The word, the clue one, is perfecting holiness. Look, brothers and sisters, there is nothing worse than to be conformed, to, to be just a stock without doing any effort, to believe that we have arrived to a certain level of uh, knowledge of certain te te techniques, methods of ways to work, and there is nothing that we have to do to change or to perfect or transform or renew. That attitude takes you without any doubt to mediocrity. There is nothing worse no hay nada for a person that uh, serves the Lord in whatever area it is, sea, that they do not no long to perfect themselves and mature every day. And that is not the will of God for no anyone in, in the kingdom. Unfortunately, I know a lot of many uh, people that they have a lot of time in their hands that they could be very well dedicate a little time and putting a little bit of interest in what they do. They could perfect that instrument they play, those songs they sing, those messages that they preach. In, in other words, whatever they do in the name of the Lord, they have to do it every day better and better, but unfortunately, there is a, a coldness, an indifference, an apathy on the side of many believers, and all of that takes you to mediocrity. When you have no interest in renewing, when we are just uh, comfortable in where we are, and we believe that we know everything we we do, and we don't need any renewing or perfecting or changes in our lives, unfortunately, those experiencing this uh, lack of interest, those that are uh, not seeking renewal, are the ones that are going to suffer this lack of transformation, of a daily transformation. We have read this morning that in order for us to be to know the will of God in our lives, but that by the way, according to Romans 12, 2, is good and and agreeable and perfect, we have to transform by the renewing of our understanding. So it means it's a, it's a daily work. It's an effort on our part. And the effort is not against faith. On the contrary, Joshua, the one that took the place of Moses, he was a very good man. But the Lord says in more than one occasion, be strong and be courageous. And I want to address those young people, those people that are working or serving the Lord in ministry at uh, part-time or full-time, those families that have been congregating in, a, in a different churches, that they should ought to look and to seek out the renewing because there is more in Christ. It doesn't matter how many years you have been attending church. It doesn't matter if you have gone to Sunday school since you were little. What we're talking about is that we have more interest every day to do things better and better every day for the Lord. On the other hand, 
In order to, to know the will of God, we have to make an effort. We can understand why there is a lot of Christians that, are, that spend the whole day praying to seek the, word, the will of God, but they never find it because they never know what the Lord had prepared for them because they have not renewed. They have just stuck. They are just content in where they are. And therefore, they spend the whole life going around in the desert, around their gift, their talent, and they do not perfect themselves. And we have read in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 7 that we have to perfect holiness. So it, what it means is that we have been born again already. We are believers. If we die today, we will go in the presence of God right away. We don't have to doubt that. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to seek more. It doesn't mean that we're just going to be stuck and live from the past glories like the football players or those singers or those actors that they did one thing good one day and they will be remembered but they're not doing anything in the present right now. That cannot happen in a church. That cannot happen in a ministry. There is to start every day from zero. Cada día Glory de to God to what Gloria we have learned in the past and, and thank God for the way that we have gone, but there is, we have to seek más. more. So let us, a God, that we are better mothers, better preachers, better worship leaders. In other words, let's look for perfection. Let's look, look ahead, forgetting what was laid behind, but looking ahead to what we have in front of us. Because we don't have that much time, believe me, according to the scriptures and prophecies, we don't have that much time. And in this little time, in comparison to what we have lived before, we have to seek more. We have to renew ourselves. We have to break all the structures and, and realize that the gospel is the same and the message is the same, but the times have changed. And today, we have, we have in our hands technological uh, ways and a series of instruments that are incredibly powerful to perfect ourselves. Some people say, I don't have any money to go and study. And it, I have to tell you, on the internet, you can find about everything, good and bad. We cannot go to a biblical college or a seminary to perfect myself in ministry, but by internet you can find a lot of resources so you can preach every day a little bit more, that you can write better things. So the message today is the following. We're going to look for the renewal in Christ. We're going to perfect ourselves. We're going to get out of our routine, of our monotony, of our st stuckness. And we're going to go with more for the Lord. Right now, a lot of people cannot go to work anymore. We're just locked down in our homes. So now we have time to practice that instrument. We have time to write new songs. We have time to read the Word of God. We have time to study we, so that we, when we get out finally and we return to our uh, congregations, we're, we are renewed. We, have, we go with, with desire to share with what the Lord has shown you and doing in your life. So therefore, let's shake our dust out of our feet and let's just leave our routines and monotony behind. And let's look for perfection in the Lord. Let's renew ourselves. Let's look to Him. Let's Let's pray to him and cry to him so that he will do a good work in all of us. En todos y en cada uno Let's de pray together. Oramos en esta mañana al Señor. Father in heaven, we give you thanks Padre Celestial, te damos because you are going to help us to perfect and renew ourselves, to transform our minds, Lord, and to grow and mature like you expect us to be. Take out of our routine, take us out of the, 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 the place where we are. Lord, that we have been just stuck in one place, that we haven't been uh, looking for renewing and perfectioning, but we are content in what we knew or we knew how to do or say. We give you this day to you and our lives to you so that you help us to mature in your ways. Thank you, Lord, 
for the opportunities that every day you bring to our lives so that we can serve you better. We put our lives in your hands and we will always give you honor and glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. amen. My dear brethren, amen. may the Lord bless you. Uh, take advantage of the time. Don't waste any more time. You will never be able to recover. Therefore, you take advantage of the time. Seek the Lord. Read your word. Perfect the gift and the talents that the Lord has given you. And put them at his service. So that all this time of lockdown, this test that, he, that we are taking right now, we will be able to pass with good grace. May the Lord bless you, and I wish you a great day. I remind you that today, Thursday, we're going to have the Lord willing uh, services at Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva in Santa Cruz, Tenerife, our Thursday service. And we will be broadcasting it.